Good day and welcome. Today, we're diving into circuit systems and exploring how they transfer electrical energy exactly where it's needed. We'll also be decoding circuit symbols, the language of electricity. Here's a question to get you thinking, why do you think circuit symbols are the same all over the world? Stick around until the end for some thought-provoking questions to test your understanding. Challenge yourself to see how much you've learned, it's a great way to boost your confidence. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss our weekly uploads. Let's get started. When you link the positive and negative ends of a battery it creates a circuit. An electrical circuit is like a road or pathway that begins and ends in the same place. For electricity to flow, the circuit must be continuous. This continuous flow is called an electric current. The current carries energy through the circuit. We can make electrical current do things for us. For example, we can make it light up a bulb or turn a motor. The movement of the charged particles forms an electric current. A circuit is a complete path around which electricity can flow. A battery can be the source of energy for the circuit. A cell has stored energy or energy waiting to be transferred. The force of the electricity is measured in units called volts. We use the symbol V to show volts. Try to look for different cells in your home to see what their voltage is. This is a picture of a circuit. Electricity flows because the battery, the wires, and the light bulb are all connected to form a closed loop and the light bulb is glowing. The stored energy in the battery is changed into electrical energy. A circuit is made up of different parts including a cell, conduction wires, and a bulb. An electrical circuit is a system. The input energy is from the cell. The electrical charge moves along the wire. We say that the wire conducts, or carries, electricity. The output energy is the light and heat energy of the bulb. By definition, a circuit is a system that transfers electrical energy to where it is needed. It is made up of different parts, the cell, conducting wires, a bulb and sometimes a switch. When the switch is closed, electricity can flow around the circuit and the bulb will light up. If the switch is open, there is a break in the circuit and the globe will not glow. Energy that is flowing, the electrical current, is measured in amperes, amps. We use symbols to show circuits because they make it easier to understand how electricity flows. These symbols are like a special language that helps us draw and read circuit diagrams. Let's learn about some common symbols you'll see when studying circuits. Conducting wires are like the roads that electricity travels on. In circuit diagrams, they are represented by straight lines. These lines show the path where electricity moves through the circuit, just like cars moving along a road. Without conducting wires, electricity wouldn't have a pathway to follow. A cell is a single unit that provides electrical energy, much like one battery you might use in a toy. The symbol for a cell consists of two vertical lines next to each other, one longer and one shorter. The long line represents the positive end, and the short line represents the negative end. You can think of the cell as a tiny power station that gives energy to the circuit. A battery is made up of two or more cells connected together to provide more power. In circuit diagrams, we show this by drawing multiple sets of the cell symbol connected in a roll. A battery is like several cells working together to give more energy. By connecting them, we can power devices that need more electricity than a single cell can provide. In a circuit diagram, the symbol for a lamp usually looks like a circle with a cross inside. The circle represents the lamp itself, and the cross inside shows the filament, which is the part of the lamp that lights up when electricity flows through it. 
This symbol helps us identify a lamp in a circuit and shows where light will be produced when the circuit is complete. A switch controls the flow of electricity in a circuit. An open switch means the path is broken, so electricity cannot flow. It's like a drawbridge that's up, you can't cross it. The symbol for an open switch is a break in the line with a tilted line that doesn't touch the other side. On the other hand, a closed switch connects the path, allowing electricity to flow through. It's like the drawbridge is down, and you can cross it now. The symbol for a closed switch is a line connecting across the break, completing the path. Here is a simple circuit diagram. Do you see the cell? What about the light bulb? And can you see the conducting wires and switch? Take a moment to think about this. Yes, let's take a look at the simple circuit diagram together. The cell is the power source of the circuit. In the diagram, you'll see it represented by two lines, one longer and one shorter. The cell provides the energy that makes everything work. The light bulb is what lights up when the circuit is complete. In the diagram, it will look like a circle with a cross. That's the symbol for the light bulb. Conducting wires are the lines that connect all the parts of the circuit. They act like roads for the electricity to travel on from the cell to the light bulb and back. The switch controls the flow of electricity. When the switch is closed, that means the lines are connecting, electricity can flow, and the light bulb turns on. When the switch is open, or when there are a gap in the lines, electricity stops flowing, and the light bulb goes off. By looking at the diagram, you can see how the cell, light bulb, wires, and switch all work together. When the switch is closed, the circuit is complete, and the electricity flows in a loop, making the light bulb shine. Circuit diagrams are the same all over the world so that everyone can understand them, no matter what language they speak or where they live. Think of it like the language of electricity, it uses special symbols to represent things like batteries, switches, and lamps. Because these symbols are universal, electricians, engineers, and students from any country can look at the same diagram and understand how a circuit works. This helps people work together on projects and makes it easier to learn and share ideas about electricity. We have come to the end for today. But before we go, please attempt the following questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. This is an important section that consolidates what you have learned. In the next video, we will be looking at the mains electricity and how electricity from the power station is transferred in a circuit to our homes. Be sure to check out the link for this in the description for more videos. Also, please do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Otherwise, thank you for watching and keep well.